Howdy. We have earthquake activity again in the Baltic Sea. Between Gotland and Sarema. Three hours ago, 2.8, no depth announced as usual from Norsar. And um, I found some map stuff of which one is a submarine cable map and uh, we are watching at the screen which is entering Germany and leaving from Finland Sea Lion 1 They don't really tell L's suppliers, I don't know, ASN, whatever that is. The quake happened somewhere here between Gotland and Sarem. And there is another one which goes there through, this blue one. <laughs> And it's the Kaliningrad cable. And I don't know if this RFS means when it's made. <laughs> and for those who don't know, Kaliningrad. Until 1946, known as Königsberg. It's the largest city and administrative center of Kaliningrad Oblast, a Russian semi-exclave between Lithuania, Lithuania and Poland. The city sits about 412 miles 663 kilometers west from the mainland Russia. The city is situated on the Bregolya River at the head of the Vistula Lagoon on the Baltic Sea and is the only ice-free port of Russia and the Baltic states on the Baltic Sea. Its population in 2020 was about a half a million with up to 800 residents in the urban agglomeration. Kaliningrad is the second largest city in northwestern federal district after St. Petersburg, the third largest city in the Baltic region and the seventh largest city on the Baltic Sea. In order to show you what this means, this is Kaliningrad. Here is the border to Lithuania and here is the border to Poland and that's Russia. And obviously you can see that this cable goes from Russia to Russia. There has been things going on in the Baltic Sea recently. Explosions and such. But I also found some other map which is also interesting, I don't know how much you are into politics, but <laughs> I'm not. So let's watch something interesting. I found this page, Helcom, Map and Data Service. And here we have to some degree some seafloor map of the Baltic Sea. That's not a good map. They can do much, much better, but they won't. I just want to point out that there are several rather interesting things here, or at least two, I think, which really stand out. There could be more, but since the app is not really 
useful in or with the phone at least not in widescreen that's why this is like that works much better so i try to somehow put them on top of each other this is this one this little island is here and this is up here so we can draw basically a somewhat straight line between those and there is this thing whatever it may be it might be nothing it might be something else too it might be from interest as we go on in time So we don't know. So that's some BBC article. But uh, I just wanted to point out that these run also through the same place. So we have pipelines and internet cables going approximately at the same place through whatever Baltic Sea. I think it's rather interesting to follow. Let's see if there is any news tomorrow or later today about a new leak or whatsoever. There's no internet in Kaliningrad or I don't know. Or an underwater sea volcano is erupting. Some methane gas, gas or whatever is bubbling up from the sea floor. Why not? Because Because there is at least one island in the Baltic Sea. I don't know, it's that is that already Baltic Sea? Hornfiskron? I show it once again. Hornfiskron. It looks like that. It seems to be growing. And it has even this feature. Which is very interesting. So, why not having such things also on the sea floor? No one knows about. Because they aren't supposed to be there. There is nothing such things up here in the north. Three hours ago, three hours ago, three hours ago. So maybe they just stopped working at Norzar at some three hours ago. They dated it up and left. This might explain the timeline in those quakes. I don't know. There is quite much going on. Also near Alpstadt. Let's see how close. No, that's a little bit more north to Alpstadt. Alpstadt is somewhere here. Alpstadt. But we were here, Schwäbisch Hall. Yeah, that's a beautiful region. I've been there. Before we go even closer, I just want to show you we have mining operations where we have some white sediments, more of them. Do we have water mines there? Yes. Let's go a bit closer. Now we have one kilometer. This is one kilometer. So if you take one kilometer to each side, then it's maybe easier if you take two. <laughs> it's maybe not that easy. No, anyway, you get the idea. Here is what we have in the picture, and let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
15. 15 springs in the vicinity of that quake. We have forest. This seems to be a hill or something elevated. Kreinsheim. One user report. That's interesting. 2.2. User report. Not felt. Okay. That's a report too. <laughs> but anyway. France. Rattling. Chamonix. As expected. This is a interesting place. There are many. Somewhere here is Mount Monviso, which is feeding the Po River. Madalena has been a place where we had some earthquake activity some time ago. Monviso. Madalena. So the quakes aren't right there, but they are rather close. Different valley. A pristine mountain river. Leg Agnel. Yeah. Needless to say, water all over the place in the mountains. Where it's coming from, everybody knows. Maybe I have to take this because you have seen these many times on this picture. These two rivers, D'Agliamento is the one on the right, Udine, the city to the right, the rivers Udine, the quake activity. Before we too many closer in, Grotta San Giovanni, there is a cave. Is there any water veins drawn here? No. 20 hours ago, 3.2 Doreano. 14 user reports, 3.2. No, I don't go into that. Otherwise, my videos just take it longer and longer and longer for whatever reason. One hour ago, Italy, Austria, seven kilometers in depth. So there is probably something going on a bit more than just this one quake. But I'll leave it here, I think. There is some rather strong activity going on all over the place. Depth on the debris and the zero. Hmm. Blande Gralba. Yeah. Fish in fell. <laughs> yeah, fish in the fur. Yeah, I think I leave it here. Uh, let's see. Maybe I'm gonna do another video once then. There's so many things going on. Pompeii. Some of you may have heard of Pompeii. Six hours ago, 2.1. Yeah. Almost at the crater of Vesuvio Volcano. Interesting times we are in. Pipelines and Tata pipelines and stuff. Yes, I leave it here. Thanks. Bye.